In this video, we'd like to adjust the patching that's in a TO. Um, you know we use the quick config one, two, and three in the uh, TOs to allow them to be easily patched, but hard patched. But if you'd like to soft patch it or patch things the way you'd like to see them or pick up different buses on different TOs, it's totally easy to do. And I'm gonna take you through that now. Let's just launch Dante controller and have a look. And you'll notice it's got my computer, the card and, that is in the TF console and the TO or TIO box is here. Let's have a look at that, and you'll realize that on this side are the patchable outputs of the TIO. And so if I open this up so that I can see even further where this goes, let's look at the um, other the card, and you'll notice on the card here that we've relabeled everything from in the console. So it's already pre-labeled for you up here at the top. And all I gotta do is find um, the bus I'd like to attach to one of the outputs on the TO. In the case, this case, I'd like to put the subwoofer bus on um, output number one of the TO, which is this one right here. And you'll notice it kind of gives me a little time marker, and then now it's got the green check mark. It's been repatched. This allows me to freely patch any direct output or any bus output to the output connectors on the TO. It also would allow me, if I drop down on this side, to patch anything into the TF from one of the TO boxes that I might be using. The beauty here is after I do all this patching, I'm gonna to need to go around behind each of the TOs and put them in resume mode, meaning that every time you turn it back on, it comes back with the same patching. And so the computer is not necessary except for this patching. So I think you can understand how simply you can do the patching and then the uh, TOs become uh, permanently repatched. So now that you've made your changes, you'll just need to go back to the dip switches on the back of the 1608 and put dip switch number seven down to put it in resume mode, which means it will always come back at the same setting that you're gonna leave it on right now. All you need to do now is power cycle and you're good to go. So as you can see, repatching your outputs or inputs on TOs is very easy with your PC or Mac. Uh, I do recommend that you go home, try this in, uh, at your own pace, not in the heat of battle, so that uh, you'll be more comfortable and able to do this on the fly. Thanks for watching the video. We hope you get a lot out of your TF console.